For this routine, it's a downward dog and you're using the wall in a different way. Instead of your hands being on the wall, you're now going to have your feet on the wall. So to do this, you get yourself in a beautiful downward dog position. And we're going to try to work ourselves with a little bit of proper distance with the wall. One thing about the wall is that it doesn't move. So we have to adjust our body ahead of time to make sure that we're engaging in the right spot uh, using the wall as one of our supports. So Mary Eileen's going to step up a little bit. Go ahead and walk up a little bit. And put your right foot on the wall. Let's just check on our distance. I, I would say walk your hand up even more. Come up even more. And bring your left foot up with it. That's right. There you go. Okay. So now what she did was coming away from the wall a little bit allowed her to set her uh, right foot on the wall, which she's able to keep that right hip uh, still facing down where she's stacking up with her right hip to her left hip. With her right foot on the wall, we'll go ahead and she's going to take a deep breath in and she's bringing her chest toward her knees. This is a beautiful downward dog and by having her right foot on the wall, she's taking the force of the wall, that energy, and it's creating a great impact into her right hip. Really being able to engage deep inside of there and at the same time she's trying to keep her right hip parallel to her left. Then she's going to bring her right knee into her nose and just bring that in. There you go. And take it back out. Beautiful. Now, if she takes that out, she's bringing her chest in and she's um, getting that right leg nice and high and she goes right back into the ball in the socket to engage it. So she's creating that constant repetition of contraction and relaxing, which really triggers that muscle memory. Go ahead and bring your leg back in. You curl in. You exhale. You come back out. And when she comes out, she's going to look at her hands. And by doing that, what she's doing is going right into her thoracic and being able to contract the back muscles. So the entire spine from the sacral all the way up into her cervical is being stretched and realigned. Come back in again. Exhale. Good. And inhale back out and contracting that again as she looks at her hands and she still brings her chest in. Good. That's really going to go right into the uh, sides of your torso, right into those intercostal spaces and really loosen that up. One more time, come back in. You come back out. You contract right back inside of your hip. You look at your hand and you fold your chest in and you extend your right leg as high as you can up and contracting all into those muscles in her leg really nice and deep. We're going to go into a pigeon pose. If you find this difficult, you can stop right now and go right into your child pose. Otherwise, you'll have your hand a little bit apart because you're going to swing your right leg all the way through and go right into your pigeon pose. Beautiful. Now, with a good pigeon pose, you're really getting yourself to open up your hips again. And by doing that, you're also always toning your buttocks. So whenever you're doing any hip work, you know that you're also getting some good deep buttock and toning going inside of there uh, for, for um, being able to get that nice form into your buttock and also into your legs. Now, she's going to take this left leg and kind of get it a little bit more centered so you almost feel like your left foot is coming right behind your tailbone. That will allow you to be able to bring your right hip back and you bring your left hip forward. That's that, that stacking that you want to get when you're in a good pigeon pose. As you can see, she has her right uh, leg forward, and she's trying to just keep those hips forward, both right and left, to be able to stack that up. It's going to be um, stacked right underneath her shoulders. And she has her hand planted on the mat. Now, the pigeon can be so complicated. So if you just kind of think about stacking up and, and putting that imaginary line uh, in your body to be able to really make sure that you're putting your body in that right alignment to get the right results. So by her hand being on the mat, it's actually kind of like a pushing away. It's kind of, there you go. Just a little bit of a pushing away. And that's being, you can keep your hand even a little higher up, but you push away as you're up. That's right. So you're actually contracting back here. And you're taking the crown of your head to the ceiling. And by taking that up to the ceiling, you're opening up into your chest, and you're getting a beautiful alignment going into your spine, and being able to bring your hips forward and line that all up. If you find this difficult, you can go on your elbows. Just come right on down to your elbows, and just rest there for a minute. 
you're still benefiting because what you're really trying to do is just work on loosening up into the right buttock, right into the ball in the socket, being able to loosen that up. And if you want to really have a nice, clean, healthy buttock and get it toned up really nice, you have to get out all the knots and all the tension. And so this is how you do it. You stretch it out, get right into the joints and loosen that all up. So that way you're being able to really clean it up and tone it up. From there, she'll go ahead and come back with her hands on the mat. Now I'm going to tell you how to get out of this because it's really important that you get out real carefully so you don't pull your hips, being that they're open, especially right now in the ball and the socket. I'm going to have her place her hands down real deep. She's going to dig her left toes back into the mat. And so now she, her foundation's established, and she's going to raise her body up with the heels of her hand and then go ahead and take her leg all the way back up and back on the wall. Beautiful. Perfect. Can you see that alignment going in there? Nice and clean from the um, right foot right to the ball in her socket. Her chest is toward her knee. She's pushing away with the heels of her hand, getting a beautiful clean alignment from her neck all the way down to her right foot. Beautiful hip toner and leg toner. 